Hello, this is Andy Ford Video, and we're going to talk about incremental movement. Here we have two layers of a PSD. The first are the boxes, and the second is a conveyor belt and background. Let's say we want to move the boxes across the conveyor belt, but we don't want them to move smoothly. We want to make them move in a sort of a stop motion or incremental manner. So we'll go to the position property of our boxes layer and create an expression by option clicking or all clicking on the stopwatch. So to move the position in increments, we can take the value, divide it by our desired increment, round it, and then multiply it back by the increment. This will space out the movement to coincide with our increment. So first for our expression, we'll have to make a variable for our increment, which will be the number of pixels we'd like it to move. We can use INC for our variable name to stand for increment. Let's start off with 50 pixels. Now since we want to move it horizontally across the screen, we will need a variable for our x position to denote that. First, let's use math.round, math with a capital M. Then in parentheses, we're going to take the value of x. Remember, position is an array and x's value is zero. So we have the zero in brackets and we'll divide by our increment variable and then we'll multiply this whole thing back by the increment variable. So we're taking the value of x, dividing it by our increment, rounding that value, and multiplying it back by our increment. For our y position, we really don't want to do anything in this case, so we'll just have it equal itself. For position, the array value of y is 1, and then we will return our value in an array, which is simply our x and y position variables. Now we can set keyframes for our initial and ending motion. Go down the four seconds and have the boxes end there. And now we play this back. We should see that the motion is a little bit jittery because we should be moving in the increments we set. So that provides that stop motion effect. And as we look closely, due to our expression, we are moving in increments. If we want to increase the increment, this will make the boxes jump farther each time. If we lower the increment, we're jumping less distance. Let's go to a different composition where we just have a box. If we want to rotate this box in increments, first we'll make an expression for rotation, and we'll start off by making a variable for our increment, picking an increment value. Then we'll need to make a variable for our rotation. Let's call this variable spin. We'll again do math.round. In parentheses, we'll take our value and divide it by our increment variable, then multiply everything back by that, and finally return our ending value, which in this case is our variable spin. Now we set rotation keyframes. Let's say we want this to do three revolutions or so. We'll see that the rotation is not smooth. The rotation is stepped in our increment. Again, increasing the value makes it move in greater amounts. A smaller increment value makes it move in smaller amounts, but more frequently. So there are two examples for a incremental or stepped movement. Thank you.